create an integrated shape and stitch pattern in Design Init, uh, which you can then download to a 950i or interactively knit on a fair on a Knitmaster fine gauge, which we have in the department. You first need to open your stitch pattern. Now I've opened my stitch pattern, which is called Color 395 STP. I've made sure my machine is selected, which is going to be here, method of knitting. Choose my machine, which is going to be a Brother 950i for this exercise. Uh, it's going to be a fair arm pattern. Say OK. Just double check here on your yarn palette that you've got a selecting and a non-selecting colour and that your background colour um, is your right hand mouse button and you've got a deselecting needle for that and a selecting needle for your fair isle colour. Save your, your pattern just to make sure it's as you want it and you've set it all up. And the next thing you need to do is to load your shape pattern. Go to Shapes, Open Shape File. I'm going to work with the child's sleeveless which is a standard pattern but you would have your own saved here or on a USB stick. I'm going to work with just the front at the moment, so you select front, say OK, and it now shows you the shape of the garment here, you can see the v-neck, on a repeat of your pattern. Now up on the left here, oh sorry, right here you've got choices, uh, you're seeing your shape at the moment, you uh, can display all the pieces, so that will bring the back in as well, but we only want to work on the front, but it will bring all the pieces, you can see them. Uh, the next you can see is um, uh, is you can move it. So you click on the one with the white uh, cross on it and you can now move your shape around on your fabric. If you move it further out you'll lose some of it. So you've got your just so you can line it up. I mean the main thing you want to do is, is to see that your pattern looks good on your shape. You can also cut it out which helps you see more clearly what's happening. So you can decide where you want it to be, whether you want it to match up how you want to match it. Say you want, you want the you know, the, the hem to be level with the bottom of the flowers here. Um, you want your sides to be reasonably lined up, something like that. Uh, when you're happy with that, you now want to download it to the knitting machine. But we'll, first of all, we'll save, save as we'll call it something new, because it will save all the information with it. So we'll call it A, color three nine five A, save. And now we want to transfer it to the knitting machine. If we were going to use the uh, the brother will use the transfer option and we go download. If you wanted to make sure you were saving other people's work you would upload the batch from the knitting machine first because download will overwrite all the patterns. Click download uh, which is the 950i. Okay. I'm going to find my file which was called color A. There we are. Okay. Select it say OK. It will now replace all 900 series in your knitting pattern. Say OK. Now ask this, when you're knitting fair of the colour changer, use the needle selection inversion switch on the machine. Brother used to have um, a single bed, or do sell a, a single bed colour changer. Uh, and it, it necessitates reversing your selection. So this is what it's telling you. But as, if you're not going to use one, don't worry about that. But if you're using the electronic, there is a little switch that will allow you to reverse it. Go to download. Now I don't actually have um, anything attached to this machine so it will now download but it's not going to because it can't. So that's as far as we can go. You'd have to actually go to the other to the main machine and you would press follow the instruction of the machine once you've plugged it in and it will download for you.